We're here at Giacomo Conterno to taste their wine. Uh, Giacomo Conterno is located in Monforte d'Alba and their vineyard primarily is the Cassina Francia vineyard uh, where they grow Nebbiolo and Barbera. Um, so they make Barolo from their Nebbiolo and in exceptional years they make their Reserva Monfortino. Uh, we're here to meet with Roberto Conterno, uh, part of the family, uh, but winemaker, vineyard manager, a little bit of everything. Um, and we're hopefully going to taste some of their great wines. Monforte d'Alba is at the southern end of the Barolo region of Piedmont. Giacomo Conterno owns the entirety of the Francia vineyard, something that's quite an anomaly located east and just a little bit north of the winery. They also just recently purchased some land in the Toretta region further north. The methods they use for creating these premier wines are about as traditional as one gets in the Barolo region. They ferment and age only in large Slavonian or Austrian oak casks, so there's very little oak flavor added, but the wine is still able to breathe during aging. Roberto makes three wines, a Barbera for drinking young, though I wouldn't be surprised that this wine could do some serious aging, a Barolo, and a reserve Barolo called Monfortino. I wanted to visit this winery because they are known for being one of the absolute best producers of Barolo, and they've had this reputation for quite some time. If there were a classification system in Barolo the way there is in Bordeaux, Conterno would be at the top of the first growths. We have the pleasure of tasting the Giacomo Conterno wine straight from the cask, and you can really tell that Roberto, whose favorite part of the winemaking process is spending time in the vineyards, has great respect for his wines and takes extremely good care of his facilities. Not only is the aging room spotless, but more than that, it's apparent that he truly cares about the wine in a way that is found in few other producers I've met. Winemaking is more than in his blood, it's in his soul. What an incredible experience to taste these extraordinary wines with a truly legendary winemaker. After lunch in Monforte d'Alba, we head right up the road to our next appointment. We're here at Elio Grasso to meet with Gianluca, who is the son of Elio Grasso and current winery manager. Uh, we're in the Gavarini region of Monforte d'Alba. Um, we're going to taste some of their Nebbiolo and Barbera, which are the, the mainstays of the region. But we also are, are interested in tasting the Chardonnay as well, because they make a pretty darn good Chardonnay. Um, hopefully going to get to see some of the winery and the vineyards as well. And looks like we have to go because Elio is about to pull in the driveway. We start our visit with a tour of the facilities. Elio Grasso is a small producer, but as far as Piedmont is concerned, it's really on the high end with about a 7,500 case production. They age in cask, but also in French barrique for some of their wines. Their methods are a bit more progressive while still holding on to tradition. They recently finished some new construction in their winery, creating a deep tunnel to house the wines during aging. Every room inside that tunnel is temperature controlled and set with the proper lighting for each stage of production. Unlike many producers in the Barolo region, Elio Grasso's vineyards are in close proximity to the winery itself. Due to a high demand for land, many producers own pieces of vineyards here and there throughout the region, and produce the wine in a location separate from those vineyards. Elio Grasso, on the other hand, has most of their vineyards within sight of the winery, with some only feet from the building. We get to go into the vineyards and feel the loose, calcareous soil that gives the wine their characteristic flavors and actually see the progress of the grapes, which at this point is at Verazin. We finish up by tasting through some of their wines with Gianluco Grasso, current winemaker who is clear about his philosophy that wine is made nowhere else but in the vineyard. <laughs> 